France says it will help the Malian government fight against rebels within the framework of UN Security Council resolution. French President François Hollande made the remarks right after reports that foreign troops and weapons were flown in near the central town of Kona. Rebel fighters took control of the city on Thursday. The UN Security Council approved the deployment of foreign military forces in Mali to bolster government forces. The West African country has been in turmoil since a military coup in March last year toppled the former president. In the wake of the coup, rebel fighters seized control of the entire northern desert regions. Ayo Johnson is an African affairs expert. He joins us from London to tell us what he thinks about this. Uh, Ayo Johnson, uh, France has said that it's going to uh, uh, help the Malian government fight the rebels within the framework of a UN Security Council resolution. What's your reading into that in terms of the extent that France is going to go out on this? Well, um, the Malian troops previously had expressed reservation that they did not wish to have any foreign boots on the ground. Um, this um, latest development is an indication that um, the Malian troops have shown that they have not been able to um, uh, take back territory that was once lost through Tariq rebels uh, who are, are, are already being supported by Al-Qaeda elements and um, the French already stating that they already have a, a, a support from the UN to do so to put their boots on the ground and also to help with logistics and uh, more so to, to use some of their, their air power capabilities which we know they have uh, to be able to push the rebels back because uh, there's a fear that um, uh, um, this would start off uh, something that uh, would extend well beyond the boundaries and the borders of Mali. And of course that's a big question, isn't it? First of all, uh, what are the interests that lie in terms of the countries that have approved the deployment of foreign military forces? And uh, on the same hand, we know how much interest the U.S. has Overall, they announced they're going to send uh, troops to 35 uh, countries in Africa for this year. What's your reading into that? Well, um, again, international forces uh, um, in the international community sometimes uh, make such decisions through stealth. Uh, we've seen that uh, it can become problematic in places like Libya. We saw how that ended. And of course, there's always the risk of insurgency uh, on the ground where, um, uh, like we've seen in Iraq and Afghanistan. So uh, um, large forces um, on the ground will create a problem financially. It will cost a lot of money. Uh, logistically, it becomes a nightmare. And, and of course, it can, some of these uh, um, insurgencies and the conflict can take a lead to many, many years. So uh, that's the problem moving forward. Uh, the, the numbers is an indication that the West is very worried um, that um, uh, Al-Qaeda forces in that part of the world will create instability not only for Africa but for the rest of the world. So uh, that's the concern moving forward. Thank you very much. Thank you for your thoughts. African affairs expert Aya Johnson there from London. Good to see you.